So wet footing's good for slow work, as I said. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Stay on the rail. Good. Oh. Back. Good. And the key is that we work really slowly through the process so the horse gets comfortable. I'm going to make a circle. Excellent. Look up. So the horse is not yet used to reins left, reins right, so we've got to be aware that for him it's awkward still. Ah. So we might think I'm pulling on the left rein, why isn't he turning left? He doesn't have that total definition yet. Huh? This is why we do this, so the horse learns. Good boy. Excellent. Excellent. Like that. Very nice. Bring up your head, though. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Bravo. Good boy. Very good. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Good. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Good. So we're having to do a little explaining. Good. Good. And walk up. I'm going to go to a circle. Open the rein on the inside. That's why I have the setup like I do on the inside. Excellent. Lift. So I want him to lift his head. So I jingled up. He has a boche on. It's my bit of preference. It fits him well. He seems to be comfortable with it. Excellent. Excellent. Ah. So now we make the horse walk forward more. So his head comes up and release the reins. So he feels less trapped. Very important. And who? Who? Good. And walk up. Good. Now he's learning to walk in a looser contact. He's not as misguided. Good. I'm trying to use a combination of my body and my whip. Oh, that he's learned in halter. Back. Good. I don't know if you notice my hip turned in more there to help him with the back. Good. And ho. Oh. Back. Good. Excellent. Back. Excellent. Walk up. So I'm just reinforcing the things he knows and adding the things he doesn't know slowly. Good. Excellent. Good. And as soon as I can, I make sure his reins are released. And the camera's off. And it's all a little lunch date. Huh? That rascally camera pants. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Uh, 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 uh. Good. So I'm going to see if we can walk without a rail. It's very difficult to do that at first. So I'm guiding him with my whip up so it doesn't push him out. My body at the girth to help escort him. So he understands we're working together. Good. And he's working nice slow walk so he can think his way through. We're not in a hurry. Good boy. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. And who? Very good. Good boy. And he did that really nicely. He's on the forehand more than I'd like, but for learning something new, we can't have everything. Good. Back. Good. Be careful not to back too much so the horse turns around on you and flips in the gear, which would be very bad. Good. So I'm trying to use the outside rein so he understands. Grizzly, in your place! Grizzly! So he came off the rail. He's having a hard time with just the outside rein telling him to go back. So I'm using it on his shoulder. Excellent. Oh. Walk up. 
Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Back. Walk up. Good. Oh. Good. Walk up. Excellent. 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 Good boy. Very good. You figured that turn out. That's the first time with the opening rein. He understood. A little touch forward so he didn't lose the forward. So that's the tricky part. Is you have to turn the horse and use the forward to get the horse to make the turn from the haunch. Very good. He did that much better going down the long side without a rail. Ah. And who? Very good. Ah, 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 ah. Da, da, da. Oh, good. So that's a bad thing. He likes to turn his haunches out and turn into me. We're, gonna, we're working on stopping that. So he stays straight. Walk up. Excellent. And ho, oh, very good. Walk up. Excellent. And ho, oh, back. Good. And walk up. So he's falling in. I'm catching his shoulder. Excellent. A little jingle on the outside rein so he understands. Catch the shoulder. Jingle the outside rein. Keep him on the rail. Excellent. And walk up through the corner. Good. Very good, Cash. Walk up. Good. And ho. Excellent. Very, very good. So we'll let him just think about all that. It was a lot of work. He did that nice. It's a lot of learning work. Huh? Very good. A little tidbit there for that. Very good. Very, very good. Huh? Very good. Okay. Let him just rest and relax. So he's working in a relatively relaxed way. That's part of the whole goal today. It isn't about his posture as much as usual because we can't insist on everything at once with the young horse. It'll confuse him. So we've trained him in posture for everything he's done to date. We'll pick up posture on a day where he understands these rain aids better. Good. And who? Back. Back. Good. And walk up. Very good. And who? Good. Back. Excellent. So he gets me more from a backward position. I'm changing my position a little as we go. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, they stay up. There you go. Good. And open. Open. So the whip had to get to the haunch to push the horse forward. He had to see me to help make that turn. A little jingle on the rein on the outside to straighten him up. Good. Whip in neutral. Coming down to catch the shoulder. Excellent. Catching the shoulder. Excellent. So he learns that the whip on the side of his body means to get over. We're going to start working on that. Over. Excellent. Over. So I'm using my line on the hip right here along with my whip at the girth. Over. And the shoulder to help the horse understand that. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, got a little excited there, but we did good. Excellent. Back. Now we have the wood. Good. Very good. Very nice. That's excellent. So we'll bring the line back up. I like him to feel the line coming up and down and all over him so he gets used to it. Very good. Very good. Good. I'll let the horse think about that. 
so it's not too many things. He's not too stressed. Good. Excellent. Good. Walk up. Good. So he's listening to the outside rain. And I didn't have to back it up with the whip too much. There, now we are. Because we come into the corner. The horses visually want to fall in on the corner. Great way to teach a horse to corner. Ah. Ah, bravo. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Straighten up. Catch your shoulder. Go back to the outside. You're falling in. Excellent. Catch your shoulder. Up the outside. Good. Like that. Over. Good boy. And he went right over on his own in a nice leg yield. Ah, ah, ah. Walk up. Walk up. Over. Over. So he's learned the word over from his stall. Excellent. Like that. Good boy. Good boy. And who? Very good. Excellent. Bravo. I'm going to go the other way. Which means we have to change our rigging. Good boy, Cash. Very good. Very good. What a handsome. What a good boy. Very good boy. So it's not about spending an hour doing this. It's just about spending short time teaching the horse correctly, getting the right responses. Yeah, you can have a carrot. You've been very, very good about all of this. Now I've got to bring my rigging around and the horse over. So I'm over. Good. And hold. There we go. I'm going to pass my rigging over his neck. Like that. So it's not hindrance. At some point we'll have the line straight to the nose. But he has to understand the bidding gates better. He's not there yet. And that's why we don't work on big spaces and walk trotting and everything else. We're just working on how do we turn, how do we stop, how do we move over. Excellent. All things you'd have to know in a carriage. All things that help a horse or the rider. Check that my line on the other side is unencumbered. It's very good. All right. All right. Excellent cash. Over. Over. Uh, uh, uh. Good. 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 And who? Good. So I help position the horse in the turn because he's not used to all these turns yet with the rig, with a bit. Excellent. And now he has to learn the same thing he learned in the other direction from this side. Okay, so we're going to start by stretching the haunches in a small circle, like we do every time we work on the lunge line, opening the hips, widening the base of the hips. We want to get the horse to stretch out the hips more, like that. So it's an exercise he knows. Over. That's it. Over. Excellent. So we start with the familiar. We make it easy first. The circle's a little easier. And trying to go on straight lines. Excellent. Because the horse understands the circle from the lunge work. And then we accompany him forward. We go back to the circle. Yeah. There you go. Good. A little jingle on the outside rein so he knows. Ah. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Over. Good. So the concepts that we used on the other side are helping him on this side. He's catching on very fast. Always easier for a horse in one direction than another. Walk up. Over. Ah, ah, ah. 
over. Ah. Okay. Ah. Nope, this way. I know you get over the other way. <laughs> there you go. Good. Good. That's it. Open up. Walk up. There you go. Very nice. Okay. So we had a hard time there on the straightaway. Not un not unexpected. Good. We lost our camera. We can't win it all, can we, Cash? Yeah. Not with that camera. Has its own mind. Yes, very good. And oh, X. Up. And oh, back. Coming in. So I'm to get him on the rail better. Walk up. Ah, keep him on the rail with a little outside jingle. Ah, back. Ah, ah. Back. Good. Walk up. Excellent. So you have to meter your whip position for the horse. In this case, he has a lot of mane on this side, and I should have probably made my first braid I usually have made so he can see better. If he turns his nose the wrong way, he doesn't see me so well. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent. Make sure you have loose contact with your fingers, your hands are not tight, because if you're tight, you're going to show the horse tight. Contact. So you have nice loose contact, have the horse working into it, teaching him. This is not a torture session. That's a good boy. That's it. Out to the outside better. Out to the outside better. So the whip is helping as a visual, so he doesn't fall in. So is my body, and a little tap on the shoulder. So he gets it, and then we're going to use the jingle on the outside rein a little to help us get to the rail straight. Excellent. And then turn. And then when I'm going through that turn, I am working on releasing the outside and coming more forward to catch his shoulder with my body. Excellent. Walk up. Excellent. Ah. Make a circle in here. The camera's still with us. Good. Excellent. Open our rein. Excellent. Very good. Ah. Very good. Look up. Ah, excellent. Oh, very good. And back, back, back. Good. Walk up. Walk up. Excellent. That's a catch that shoulder. Very good. And who? Oh, good. Back. Back. Good. Now walk up. Uh, uh, uh. Catch your shoulder. Stay on the rail. Good. I like that. So he's sorting out the contact, the rain aids, along with my position of my body supporting my voice. Good boy. Excellent. Very nice. And hope. Excellent. Walk up. Walk up. Excellent. Be really gingerly with all your rain aids when the horse is confused because he doesn't understand. You can pull harder, but it won't solve the problem. Good. Now I'm going to stay on this side, because my rigging is for me to be on this side. Ooh. Over. Excellent. Teach him to spot over. Good. Open the hips. Good. Didn't want the head low like that, but 
Right now we can't have it all. Excellent. Lift. Lift. Lift your head. Good. And hold. All right. Good. Keep the head up. Not that, that. Good. And walk up. So that's how I lift the head so the horse understands. That's one of the reasons for the rigging this way. Good. Walk up. Sometimes I separate my reins. Sometimes I keep them together. But you have to be able, whether they're together or separated, to cue the horse individually the reins. If you don't have that tact ability intact, you can take more time practicing this at the walk. Walk up. Good. Excellent. Excellent. And it's really good to learn to do this on an older horse if you haven't done this before. Before you go out and do it on a green horse. Good job. So he's done a really nice job. I'm very pleased with his work. And I'm going to call that the end of the session. Very good, Cash. The wind is coming up. And that's not so favorable for learning workouts.